Here I'd like to look at the head roll. We've got a supine position that is facing upwards. Uh, the lower back is in its neutral state and the knees are bent just to accommodate a nice comfortable back and hip placement. The shoulders are open. And as you're breathing, you want to feel like the rib cage is expanding sideways and you've still got a good abdominal connection there. The roller is placed underneath the head and from here we're just going to do a small little nose nod. So the nose comes towards the chest and then you just bring it back again. As you drop the nose downwards, we're just opening up to the back of the neck here. And as Carolina looks up, we're just closing it a little bit. The emphasis is to open up the back of the neck. Some of you may not feel necessarily a stretch, but more that there's an idea of an opening through the back of the neck. We constantly go around with our necks forward and compressed, and this is a good way to open up those structures. Right, so the next time we come down, I'm just gonna add something to that. So we turn the head to the side. A little bit of a head rotation or a cervical rotation. We're gonna feel the side and the front of the neck muscle stretching out. We'll come back to the center and then we'll go to the other side. Now some of you might experience a little bit of a uh, shifting of the roller. And if you do, you know, just pass me your hands. Just place your hands lightly on either side of the roller just to keep it steady. And then you'll be nice and secure about how far the head goes from one side, and then you can really let that go to the other side. And do that a few times, maybe three or four times. Just make sure that you're not winding up muscles, but you're letting muscles go. 